Hi guys and welcome to Journey to Journeyman number 12. I know most of you guys think that I'm Superman, but I'm not. I get sick like everybody else, so if I sound funny, I'm a little bit under the weather. But anyway, I always like to start off by thanking the guys from the last episode. Uh, I can't thank you enough. It's because of the comments, because of the suggestions of you guys that have really helped me to be able to actually make useful products or pieces or tools uh, from my lathe back here. Thank you so very much. Uh, on this episode, uh, a guy at work asked me if I could uh, make him some bushings out of aluminum and I thought why not take some pop cans and see if I can uh, make this these bushings for him and I was able to do that. If you want to see how I do it, stick around and I'll start off with the order of operations. Let's take a quick look. These dimensions on here are not very um, they don't have to be very precise, but uh, we're going to go with nominal dimensions on two and an eighth. And then down there we have a 4715 outer diameter and a 245 thousandth inner diameter. Now our order operations today are, we're going to cut the stock, then we're going to make it round, then turn the outside diameter, then we'll bore the inside diameter, we'll cut it the length, deburr it, and then glance knowingly at the ladies. Thank you. 
Okay, a couple of lessons learned on this. Uh, the <laughs> number one thing is aluminum is softer than carbide. However, if you're doing an interrupted cut, if you work it too hard, you can break off carbide with, with pop can aluminum. So uh, be careful on interrupted cuts because uh, it can break your tooling. The other thing is, is uh, once you get a hole started, and you re-tighten uh, the jaws on there, it will move that off center and you're going to have a hard time uh, getting that back in there. This has been a fun project. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. It's very simple, but I really, really love doing stuff on this lake, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much and hope to see you on the next episode of Journey to Journeyman.